handed evil's army move further towards their actual goal. But for that, it would require a ship. Italia and the truly offensive Evil's armies continued marauding and running through the fields of wheat. Somewhere behind them, Thanos picked up their trail, but he had no inkling of the corrupting Evil's true destination, Termite Island. A fleet would be needed to get to Termite Island, and, as everyone knew, the two Left Hands Evil and its creatures were not exactly gifted shipbuilders. And so it was that the Horde stood before the gates of fantastic Lakesville. The inhabitants of Lakesville worshipped the sun and had even erected a number of temples that captured the sunlight. The light they collected strengthened the inhabitants of Lakesville in a truly unpleasant manner, which made them dangerous opponents indeed. On top of that, Sunshine made them a little over the top in the gung-ho department. A number of battle-hungry troops had already rushed out to head for the dungeon. What? Alert! Come, creatures of evil! Prepare to defend against intruders! Beat them! Break their legs! Pick their noses! Um, uh, sit down in a circle? Ah, just shut it! Tear up their arms, twist their necks, give them wedgies! <laughs> Battle began in the underground. Meanwhile, the heroes on the surface continued to bathe in the sunlight. Um, it's getting to be about time for night to fall. What? Night? Oh, okay. Night slowly fell over Lakesville as the sun sank and finally disappeared. The sun praisers of Lakesville shivered a little as they were used to sizzling in the sun. At the same time, they were overcome with a deep fatigue that led the overworld guards to fall asleep. Only a few heroes were still on their feet. Excellent! Finally, this narrator does something useful for a change. Hmm. Ungrateful lot. Fine, then. Huh. The night wouldn't last forever, though, and daybreak was approaching fast. It seems the days just flew by in Lakesville. Must be all that fresh sea air. It was night. We should take advantage of the opportunity and attack them now. Well, they're all asleep. That would be unwise. I would suggest something else. Oh, what now? Do you want to talk things out again? Or do you have some other hippie hogwash you want to share? No, not this time. I wanted to suggest that we focus on defending the dungeon and build a few defenses. Otherwise, they'll overrun us at daybreak. Huh. That... That doesn't sound like a bad idea. But attack is the best defense. Even though the heroes of Lakesville were indeed getting their beauty sleep, it was doubtful that they would sleep through any violence directed their way. And it was also likely that the destruction of any buildings or the like would make a perfect alarm clock. Right then, just hit them hard enough and they'll close their little eyes again. <laughs> oh, you are so evil. I know. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Evil is unstoppable!
In order to be able to defeat Lakesville's daylight active heroes, the hard-hearted evil would have to use the lecture hall. There, scrolls could be examined, which would make things already researched even better. Mm, sounds pretty damn sensible to me. We could use all the help we can get against these sunbathing goody two-shoes. It's payday. A spider nest has been unearthed.
the digging in the dungeon had paid off, for the truffle pig evil's little snots had found a scroll. Now it only needed to be taken to a lecture hall so it could be used. This entrance seemed to be buried. The work-shy evil decided it wasn't worth the effort and just passed on by. Sunrise was approaching fast.
It was daybreak. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Everything evil comes from above. Time to die. It's payday. Enemies have entered the dungeon. 